All right, we just got a little bit of a physique check here. I know my voice isn't the best in the morning. Gains are looking pretty good. Six pack is there. Chest is looking all right. Arms always. I know I don't really have the best lighting situation here, especially with this like half mirror, but I'm not looking too bad. Damn it. Okay, today we gotta get a few things done. First and foremost, I gotta post my new leg home workout. The thing's pretty tough. Second, I've gotta get a new Gorilla Pod. I need a taller one. Everything else after that, all business, all barbarian body business, and then I gotta get in a run today, and that's about it. That new Huncho Jack tape, I don't even know if it's that new. I think I was gonna like it at first, definitely do. This is my favorite song, Saint. Murder Beats is a god, too. So, you see this leg workout, by the time this is out, this video will probably be available, but I can't post it because YouTube deemed it as inappropriate for advertisements. Now I gotta wait 24 hours to get it reviewed. I hate when this happens because I wanted to put this out for you guys today. So for any of you guys that are curious about how Adpocalypse is, is it still going on, does it affect me? Not really most of the time, unless I got a picture like that. Or funnily enough, funnily enough, you know what I'm trying to say here, if I got a picture of my chest, YouTube mistakes that for not a male's chest, but a female's chest, and they think, oh, this is not look good. This is not like advertiser friendly at all. They're gonna go, nope, this is a woman's chest. All right, now it's time to go get a new Gorilla Pod. P.S. If you guys haven't already, go ahead and pick yourself up some sick Barbarian Body merch. This hoodie's so soft, quality's nice. I've also got the t-shirt underneath. If you haven't, Jerry, if you haven't, you haven't seen already. Links in the description. All right, so here's the old shitty Gorilla Pod that I had. Here's the new one. Taller, it's more durable. I am so pumped for this thing. It's 130 bucks. All right, it's time for the usual freshy. I'm getting kind of sick of the teriyaki twist bowl. I've had that for literally like eight months straight, so I'm gonna take a look at what else is here. Hi there, can I get a Oaxaca bowl with uh, double the chicken, please? So this is what it looks like. And on the inside, they've got like, as you can see the fabric right there, the material for the freshy sign. They got this whole wall inside of there that's covered in this green. I'm gonna try and get it on my phone, we'll see. So I'm gonna smash the whole door. Okay, major important thing to do. If you're ever gonna be wearing white stuff, never eat. If you're gonna be wearing like a white t-shirt or a sweatshirt, take that shit off or it will get stained. And a bowl. We got avocados in there. We got some form of beans. God, it's good, I don't know what it is. Kale, I love this one, it's been a while. That's a scary scan going, by the way. So, some of you might not know, but I am an avid reader. Currently I'm reading this book called Smart Cuts. How hackers, innovators, and icons accelerate success. So I'm gonna take about 15 minutes right now, just catch up on some reading midday. It's currently, currently about 12.30 p.m. right now. So, do this for 15 minutes, get back into my work, and then later tonight I'll do some more reading too. And I start off every morning, I know I didn't include it at the beginning of this vlog, I start every morning with about a half of an hour of listening to business podcasts and fitness podcasts and nutrition podcasts and sometimes even my audible books um, as well. And then when I hit the road, I'm either listening to trap music on Spotify or I'm listening to an audiobook. All right, just put out a series of small fires. Now it is time to, I don't even know why I'm going over here, make myself a coffee and then also grab myself. My favorite Granny Smith apples. Just recently got this message, top one up here. That's my favorite message to get. That right there was some guy that said, I think he said he was on vacation and he wasn't able to download the PDF onto his phone. So he hit me up on Instagram DM and said, man, can you email it to me? Of course I'll email it to you. So I just sent him his PDF and now he's able to work out while he's traveling. We're with any other business or any other fitness individual for the most part here, they would have not responded to you. Okay, you would have hit the DM request box and they would have hit decline. I know that kind of looks like a lot, like I got three of these. These rice cakes only total about 100 calories. If I can remember correctly, an apple's only 60 calories. And this is probably only like 40 calories of blueberries. This is only like a 200 calorie snack. All right, just pull it up to the lawyer's office and take a look at how tall this place is. It just keeps going. This big. This is the lawyer that did the contract for the app that we've got under development right now. The only thing I gotta do right here is just collect the receipt from that and get a little bit of my change back and then I think, I think that's pretty much it. I think we've even got a TV in here. So this is sick. Everything looks infinite in here. 
Bingo. Yeah. Walmart again. What's up? How are you doing? Good, you? All right, and here is the product of my grocery shopping. Bell peppers, grapes, chicken breast, whole shit ton of rice crisp, crispy mini cucumbers, and um, a bunch of these clubhouse packs. So these are gonna be mostly for all of my stir fries that I make, and actually that's probably what I'm gonna make tonight. All right, I'm not even gonna play. I was gonna pretend being like, yo, dude, I'm about to go for my chest and uh, back workout, but I actually did that yesterday. Um, today's actually just an off day. I'm gonna go for a run for like 15 20 minute run But you know what I figured I might as well overlay and show you guys what I did for my chest and back workout because I recorded the entire thing And it was gruesome. All right, so now it's time for an absolutely gruesome Gruesome chest and back workout as you can see I always begin the workout with some light dumbbell benches If we're going to be targeting chest and back I got about two sets 20 repetitions only with about a, a set of 30 pound dumbbells we go on real light I'm always focusing on you know warming up properly and stretching this. You can see me doing with the chest right here. I do this after the pecs are already warmed up. Vital, man, vital. Because throughout the day when you're on your computer or on your phone or anything, your shoulders are rolled forward. And when you begin to start pressing with that rolled forward shoulders, and that's what I'm trying to overcome right here too with the scap activation right there, you are in a great position to injure yourself. And I've done that before years ago. So luckily I've learned I'm not as much of an idiot anymore. And I always ensure that I begin to loosen up the chest and get my scapula activated so that my shoulders are in a nice neutral position so that when I do my benching, as you can see right here, I crush it. Now, pay attention to your boys, nice, slow negatives. The amount of hypertrophy you can stimulate because of this is absolutely insane. You guys hear me saying it all the time. I always harp on it. You know, you want a nice, slow negative. You want to get... Um, you want to really focus on time under tension and things of that nature. Um, so that's what I've really been emphasizing a lot. And uh, growth has just been insane because of it. Now, here we are right here with some high to low cable chest flies. And these were mostly just to target my lower pecs. Um, I was hitting the upper pecs with the incline bench press. And look at the eccentrics, look at the negative. Your boy is just crushing it. And yes, okay, everybody always says it. Look at my face. I do make the most ridiculous faces while I'm lifting or pressing or doing any form of a workout. And it's because I'm so focused on contracting that muscle as hard as I possibly can. I'm really pushing myself here. I'm really pushing myself to stimulate as much hypertrophy as I possibly can, okay? Beach time is almost coming up and I wanna have a nice pop in chest. Now, the next exercise we're getting into right here is just tremendous. I've been loving this exercise and these are just some uh, barbell bent over rows. Now, I, I used to normally do this with more of an incline in my back and it was really targeting more of my traps and less up on, my, uh, on the mass of my back here. So by doing it this way, I've just been loving it. And this is just me checking the form, ensuring that that lower back is nice and straight. Now, pay attention to this. I said this in my upper back workout, the one I just recently put out, four killer exercises. You need to activate that scap at the very beginning of this motion to maximally target the lats and uh, all the other upper back musculature while you're performing this. And by doing this, okay, I started emphasizing this a couple of weeks ago, really, really emphasizing it. I always knew to do it, but I've been really strict on it recently. And I can't even tell you how beneficial it has been for uh, my back growth. And Dom's has been insane. The next day after this workout, my back was just destroyed. All right, last part of the workout. Most difficult part, part that really makes me sweat. 10 to 15 on the treadmill. And here we go with just a quick run. 15 minutes, kept the heart rate up. Your boy was sweating like a pig, burning the fat. Okay, so I just got back from my run. And now I'm about to get on to a Skype call with one of my mentors slash marketers. He helps me with building Barbarian Body, building the brand of that, and then also advertising it as well. But I'm pretty hungry and it's currently 7 p.m. So this call is probably gonna take about 30 minutes to an hour. So I'm just gonna get myself a quick snack. Yeah, no, it's kind of like a little smorgasbord of cool stuff. I'm hungry, so I gotta eat this. TV to challenge it or any of the stuff. Just about to get cooking. Some nice stir fry right here. But I am pretty hungry before I get into actually cooking it, so I'm just gonna eat some of this chicken with ragu and sriracha. 
so you want to cut your vegetables first because if you do your chicken first, it's going to be just covered in chicken nastiness. So vegetables first, keep them separate from the chicken, cook the chicken first, and then toss the vegetables in last so they don't get all mushy. Alright, I always say it. Preparation is next to godliness when it comes to fitness. Got this all chopped up. Got this all chopped up. Seasonings out. Pam's out. It's olive oil, by the way. And the pan, which, by the way, I need to get a new one. Man, introducing. The stir fry chef of the year. This is gonna be bomb. Probably just gonna have this on its own and maybe a couple of rice cakes as well for some carbs. Clubhouse seasoning with the sriracha. All the vegetables that are in there. The chicken's really tender. I feel like I definitely belong on the food network. And we'll keep it at that, just a bit more vegetables. Now normally I would have this with brown rice or some holy pasta, but I've been looking at my physique today. Not impressed with how much body fat there is, so I'm eating it a little bit more leanly. All right, time to finish eating today. 10.59, well, now it's 11. And we're gonna grab these grapes that I just picked up. They taste pretty good too. Rip off a few grapes. All right, brochachos, that concludes today's vlog. Hope you guys had fun. If you liked the vlogs, be sure to let me know down below what you thought of them, what you like to see, what you wanna see more of. I also wanna mention, if you guys are interested in like my exact training programs that I personally use, I have included links to them down below. I got the 14 week physique sculpting program and the mass building program. These are step by step training programs, video breakdowns, walkthroughs. It's very in depth. It's oh man, these programs are so great. You're absolutely gonna love them and they're priced really well. They should be priced a lot higher than they are. They should be like two or three hundred dollars, but I haven't priced really well specifically for you guys. So if you're interested, Click the links down below. Other than that, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, then also be sure to give your boy a like down below. And be sure to subscribe for weekly workout tips and nutrition tips that you will not want to miss. Thank you so much for joining me, guys. See you in the next vlog.